Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 193 in the series of basic math. Today we'll have our 13th lesson in the series of 15 on the topic of probability. Let's see what we have for today. We are told that we're going to conduct an experiment and we are told that 66 students, 66 students will take part in an experiment. We are further told that the distribution of the students is as follows. The distribution of the students who take part in this experiment, 66 of them, is as follows. We're going to have male and female. We're going to have sophomore. We're going to have juniors. And we're going to have graduate students. Male, female, and here's, here are the number 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. As you can clearly see, whoever came up with this problem was very creative. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Let's see what we need to find out. So if one student is picked at random, question is, if one student, if one student is picked at random what are the odds what are the odds that the student picked is <coughs> if one student is picked at random what are the odds that the student picked is? Here's the first question. Not a graduate student. Not a graduate student. First of all, how, how should we express this thing in terms of symbol? This is how we do it. This will be this will be the odds of picking graduate students. Odds of picking graduate students. We're going to represent it with the probability of picking a graduate student. G. G for graduate students. J for juniors, just so we have the same, say, uh, so, just so we have the consistent notations. J for juniors we're going to use, and S for sophomores. Okay. So odds of picking a graduate students we can express this this way. Therefore, the pick, odds of not picking graduate students, the odds of not picking a graduate student is simply P probability of not right there with the with the bar on the top. And that's very straightforward. That has to equal that has to equal one minus the odds of picking a graduate students. Minus the odds of picking a graduate students. Well, how many graduate students do we have? Right here, we have 14 plus 16. 14 plus 16 is 30. So odds of picking a graduate students is 30 out of 66. So it's 66. 66 minus 30 out of 66. That's what it is. 66 minus. 66 over 36, which is 1, minus 30 out of 66, and that leaves us with 36 out of 6, 36 out of 66, and the final answer is 6 over 11. That's the, that's the first answer. Let's look at the second one. Second question. What are the odds? What are the odds that if we were to pick one student at random, if we were to pick one student at random, what are the odds that that student is either a male or a sophomore? Or a sophomore. This is where you're going to have to pay a little attention, okay? This is where we're going to have to pay a little bit of attention. I'm going to first show you. I'm going to sh first show you the situation in a Venn diagram so you can understand what's going on here. The odds of picking a male or a sophomore, let's put it like this, the odds of picking a male or a sophomore is simply odds of picking a male or sophomore which is S. This is what we're looking for. Okay, pay attention. We're looking for the odds of picking either a male or a sophomore. Let's see what the situation is in the Venn diagram. So here we're going to have our males and here we're going to have sophomores. How many males we have? Let's put it in a different color so we can see it easily. 
Males are going to be males are going to be six plus ten plus fourteen. Six plus ten plus fourteen. Can you see it? Six plus fourteen is twenty. Twenty plus ten is thirty. So we have thirty of them. Thirty males. How many sophomores do we do we have? Well, sophomores are right here. Sophomores are simply sophomores are simply. 6 plus 8 is 14. You can clearly see what's going on here. You can clearly see what's going on here. What is going on here is that, is that we have some double counting going on. There are six people. There are six people who happen to be who happen to be male. There are six of them who happen to be male, which are counted in this 30 when we count 6 plus 10 plus 14. And there are six soft and and the and, and, and there happen to be six sophomore. There are, there are six people who are counted double counted first as male, and the same six people are counted again as sophomores because those six people happen to possess both characteristics. They happen to be both male and a sophomore. They're counted twice. They're counted twice. That's your cue there. That that's the common element. That is our common element. We have to put it in here as six. Now, as soon as we put a six there. As soon as we insert, as soon as we insert the number that belongs in the common element, the common area, we have to go back and adjust this figure. This has to become 14 minus 6, which is 8, which is very easy to see here. It's just so we, when you take out 6, you're left with 8. We're left, uh, left with this 8 right here is what we're showing here. And then we have to take away 6 from here. To, from 38, it's going to be 24, and that 24 is right here, 10 and 14. You see that 6 is the common. But that wasn't the point. That was, what, that was of course, uh, not necessary. That was actually too simple. That wasn't the point. The point is, when we are calculating the probability, when we calculate the probability, how do we show this? How do we show this thing? How do we show our work? The odds of picking a male or a sophomore is equal to the odds of picking a male plus the odds of picking a sophomore. Now, if you stop right there, if you stop right there, you're going to end up double counting this, this six people. Because the odds of picking a male is all of this thing, which is 30. Out of, out of 66, out of picking the sophomore is all of this thing, which is 14 out of 66, but then in, in, in this 14 we have this 6 in there, and in this 30 we have that 6 again. 6 is counted twice. 6, these 6 people are double counted. So we have to subtract minus, minus this, this common element. This common element represents the people who have both characteristics. Minus, minus the odds of picking somebody who happens to be male and sophomore. And sophomore. And this is this is our answer here. Odds of picking odds of picking a male or a sophomore is is equals to the odds of picking a male plus the odds of picking a sophomore minus the odds of picking somebody who happens to possess both of these qualities. I need the room, so we need to erase this thing. Or oh, perhaps we can do it here. We can do it right probably here. So odds of picking a male odds of picking a male is right here. Odds of picking a male here, there are, there are male here, males are 6 plus 10 plus 14 which is 30, so it's 30 out of 66, no difference, right here, you see 30 out of 66, plus the odds of picking a sophomore which is 14 out of 66, and now we subtract the common element because we counted the twice, it was double counted, so we have to take away 1, so it's minus 6 over, over 66, and that's our answer, 30 plus 14 is 54, 54 minus 6 is going to be 48. It is going to be 48. And 48 is not what I have here. Just give me one brief second. Did I, did I make a mistake in my counting? Yes, I did make a mistake. 6 plus 14 is 20, isn't it? 6, yeah, 14. 6 plus 10 is 14, yes 38, exactly, 14 plus 13, 30 plus, thir 30 plus 14 is going to be 44, 44 minus 8 is, 44 minus 8, 44 minus, 44 minus 6 rather, 44 minus 6, 44 minus 4 would have been 40, so it's going to be 38, 38 over 66, they are both even numbers, so let's reduce it, so we end up with 19 over 33. This is the answer in the most reduced form. 
Let's carry on then. Let's do one more problem. Let's do one more, one or two more, let's, depending on how things go. Let's do, let's do one or two more. I'm going to erase this part. We don't need this anymore. It's going to confuse us. Let's do one more problem. Here's the, here's the next problem. If one student is picked at random, what are the odds that the student that is picked is a female, a female, a female sophomore? A female sophomore or a male graduate. A male graduate. I'm not going to make it nitty gritty now, maybe I'm making it too academic. I'm just going to do it in a quick way like you would do in a real exam. Female sophomore. How many female sophomores do we see? Where's the where, there are the females? There are eight of them. There are eight female sophomores. There are eight female sophomores or so we have to add or male grad, male graduates. Here's, here are the male, here are the graduate students, there are 14 male graduates. Out of how many? Out of 66. 14 plus 6 would have been 20, so this is 22. 22 over 66, divide top and bottom by 11, we end up with 2 over... Oh, we can divide top and bottom by 22 as a matter of fact, it's one third. I was about to divide top and bottom by 11 and I realized that if you were to divide top and bottom by 11 we'll end up with 2 over 6. Why not divide top and bottom by 2 and be done with one step. So that is it. Let's do one more. That was part C. Let's do one more. What are the odds that the person you picked at random happens to be either a sophomore female or a graduate male? And the answer is it's one third chance. Just by looking at the entries in our table. Let's do one more. Not a junior. What are the odds that the person that we picked at random, if one student is picked at random, what is the what are the odds that the student picked is not a not a female junior. Not a female junior. But that's just that's just it has to equal the probability of something like this is simply 1 minus the probability that the person that you picked at random happens to be happens to be ma uh, female, not male, female female and a junior. What are the odds that the person that you picked at random is not a female junior? That's just 1 minus the odds that the person that you picked happens to have both characters. So six years she happens to be a junior and of course she's a female, a female junior. What are the odds of picking a female junior? We don't have to make it complicated. We just look at our entry. We're looking for female and a junior. Where are the females? There are the females. We have 8, 12, and 16. We're looking for juniors. So that's right here, 12. There are 12 such people. 12 such people out of 66. So it's 1 minus, 1 minus 12 over 66. We're going to write 1 as 66 over 66 minus 12 over 66. 66 minus 10 would have been 56, therefore 56, 66 minus 12 would be 54. 54 over 66. 54 over 66. Can we reduce this thing? I, sh I shouldn't have made it so complicated. I should have reduced it right from the very beginning. But uh, Yeah, we could have reduced it very from the very beginning. We can do it now. This is not a big, big deal. Divide top and bottom by 6. This is going to become 66. And 59 is made up of 9. So it's 9, 11. The odds are 9 out of 11 that the person that you pick will not be a female junior. If we had to, if they ask you what is the approximate, what is the approximate probability in, in terms of percentage, if they use the word approximate in the problem, and they're looking for percentages, then we simply take our 9 out of 11, let me write it a little properly, we simply take our 9, of our 9 out of 11, and if they're looking for the approximate percentage, well, it's very easy, multiply top and bottom by 9, and we end up with 81 over 99, 81 over 99, 99 is pretty close to 100, therefore 81 over 99 is approximately 81%. It's approximately 81% chance, that the person that you pick at random will not be 
a female junior. Could be anybody else, but not a female junior. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.